automating the fight against scammers and unfair parking tickets with Do Not Pay. So if you've never heard of Do Not Pay before, the creator of Do Not Pay is someone that I've really admired for a while. He's somebody that originally used AI to start fighting parking tickets locally. Joshua Browder, I believe is his name. And Do Not Pay has expanded to do all sorts of things, including automatically suing scammers. So how does this work? So this has also been covered a number of different times by news organizations, but they basically say that if you get a call from a scammer and they have some sort of scam that involves taking your money, then it's possible for you to automatically sue them and make up to $10,000. So how does Robo Revenge work? So I actually have Do Not Pay, and this is how it works. You generate a Do Not Pay card. So this is a fake credit card that doesn't go back to your real card and it can't be charged for anything real. It'll appear to go through when they like do like an initial check to see if it's valid. And then afterwards, it won't go through for anything. Next, you will give them the fake card information, pretend to be, you know, some vulnerable person that like believes them when they ask for the information, they'll try to run it. And it will automatically track down the entity that tries to charge the card. So you'll actually be able to track them through them trying to charge you. And then it will, this will automatically generate a note of demand and generate a letter for compensation that they are legally obligated to do. And basically this encourages them to settle before you go through with a lawsuit because you have a, a valid claim, you track them down, you have evidence it was them, and they violated the law in this specific way. So that is to say, this is not like illegal in that you can get the police to go after them, but using AI, you could actually make some money off this. So yeah, if you are somebody that gets a lot of call scams and you might actually want to look into Robo Revenge because it could allow you to take what is normally an annoyance and turn it into a business opportunity. Yeah, I wonder how good the results are with that. Because like, I, I would think that these pop up and, and disappear so frequently that it would be hard to actually get a law suit through on them oh them no so so joshua actually apparently went to or, or like was listening in on a convention for people that like run call centers and run these sorts of like kind oh of, wow like scams and they were warning about this because <laughs> so many of them had gotten like hit by these lawsuits it was starting to create panic in the industry and they were starting to have to be much more clever about the way they were doing things because they never had an automatic way of people pursuing this sort of thing before it was always just a little mm -hmm. bit too much work and that's why they were getting away with these scams so that's why i like it it is it it actually seems like it is pretty effective and it's been putting pressure on this industry to either dial it back a little bit or at least be more sneaky with the way they go about processing payments.